One of the best things to come out of the 2019 Formula 1 season has been the epic battles between Lewis Hamilton and Max Verstappen. Two great Formula 1 drivers who have had a great 2019. And two drivers that you can easily argue for both have been the best driver of 2019. And in today's video, that is exactly what we are going to analyse. Who has been the best driver of 2019? Is it Lewis Hamilton or is it Max Verstappen? Join me in today's video to find out. Now before we get started, I just have to say this comparison video will be different to other comparison videos I have done on the channel. Because we are only comparing these two over the course of a season. And we will not be comparing the two over their careers respectively. And also before I start, I also have to clarify one thing. In order to do this comparison properly, you must consider the pace differences between Lewis Hamilton's car and Max Verstappen's Red Bull. Because there has been certain points in the season where it's not exactly like the Mercedes and the Red Bull have been equal on pace. So again, to do a proper comparison, you have to factor that in. Because if you don't factor that in, then there's no point comparing Hamilton against Verstappen for 2019. So that will play a factor in this video for sure. But firstly, let's compare Lewis Hamilton against Max Verstappen during 2019 in the 21 races. To look at who in their respective cars, considering the pace of their cars, has had the better season. And we'll start off with the first six races from Australia, of course, until Monaco. Now during this time, the Mercedes car was quite clearly faster than the Red Bull by about three quarters of a second. So there is no doubt Lewis Hamilton definitely had a much better car to work with than what Max had. But still Lewis did very well in the first six races and was still at a great level. For example, holding off Max Verstappen at the Australian Grand Prix despite Lewis Hamilton having quite a badly damaged rear floor. That was losing him half a second a lap alone to his teammate Valtteri Bottas over the course of the Grand Prix. So to hold off a driver like Max Verstappen considering the damage is an excellent performance. Max got a great result in Melbourne but we can't really quite tell how great he really was. Because the two Ferraris had to turn their power unit down to save on reliability. And again Lewis Hamilton had damage to his car so we don't really know how great Max really was. In the next three races, Bahrain, Shanghai and Baku, Max Verstappen I thought did the best he could, but Lewis Hamilton was, again, great during this period. His performance in Bahrain, even though he did not deserve to win the Grand Prix, was still great, going right round the outside of Sebastian Vettel at Turn 4. And even if he finished in second place Hamilton, which he probably deserved to, it was still an excellent performance. And then in the two races after in Shanghai and Baku, definitely the car helped him to the results he got. But in Shanghai, for example, he dominated the Grand Prix. But in the races in Barcelona and Monaco, I think we can definitely compare Hamilton and Verstappen a bit more. Because the Mercedes and the Red Bull car in terms of pace were a bit closer together. Now in Spain, Lewis Hamilton in qualifying wasn't that great. But in the race, again, dominated the Grand Prix. But I think Max Verstappen had just as good of a Grand Prix weekend qualifying in P4 and then going around the outside of Vettel and Leclerc on the first lap to get into P3 and then be comfortable in third place as well. And then we come to the Monaco Grand Prix weekend, the first weekend where Lewis Hamilton and Max Verstappen actually went head to head. In qualifying, the battle was won by Lewis Hamilton. He did have, I think, a better car for qualifying, but still had to do the great job he did to get pole position just about from teammate Valtteri Bottas. And then in the race after Verstappen at the first and only ran a pit stops jump Valtteri Bottas in a way that was not exactly legal, we got Hamilton versus Verstappen for the final 60 plus laps. And for the final laps of the Grand Prix, Lewis Hamilton was on medium compound tyres that were wearing out a lot more than Max Verstappen's white-walled hard compound. And especially during the final 20 laps of the Grand Prix, Max Verstappen was in a much faster car due to the extra tyre life he had. But Lewis Hamilton, in one of the best performances of his season, just about held off Max Verstappen. Yes, you'll say it's Monaco and it's hard to pass, but it's not as hard to pass as you may think. On one occasion where Max Verstappen may have had the chance to overtake at the hairpin, he didn't quite take it. 
But also Lewis Hamilton was very smart in how to place his car to defend his position and defend the lead. And even when Verstappen went for a move right at the end of the Grand Prix, Lewis Hamilton just about again brilliantly held on. And considering the extra pace Max Verstappen had, especially in the second half of that Grand Prix, Lewis Hamilton did very, very well to stay ahead of Max Verstappen and he has to go down as the better performer from the Monaco Grand Prix. And in the first six races, I would say Lewis Hamilton just about was the better driver in the first six races, but it was very close between the two. Next up is the races from Canada until the summer break and around the Hungarian Grand Prix. Well, in Canada and France, we can't really compare them because, again, the pace difference between the Mercedes and the Red Bull at those two races were way too big. As the Mercedes car was at a very high level, but the Red Bull at this point of the season was probably at its worst. And Max Verstappen did well to still get two top five finishes in Canada and France. But again, because of the massive pace difference, we can't compare them for those two races. But once Red Bull bolted on a new front wing for the Austrian Grand Prix, this is where Max Verstappen could, for the rest of 2019, finally be compared consistently to Lewis Hamilton. And starting off in Austria, Max Verstappen definitely has to go down as the better performer for this weekend. Because one in qualifying, the Red Bull was not as quick as the Mercedes and Max Verstappen did very well to be right there with Hamilton in qualifying. And then in the race, how can you not say that Verstappen was better than Hamilton? Max, yes, had a terrible start, but came from P8 on the first lap to winning the Grand Prix 71 laps later. And I know Lewis Hamilton's car was not exactly working in its best condition, but he did break his front wing through mistakes. And his pace compared to teammate Valtteri Bottas in the race also wasn't that special, so wasn't a great day or weekend for Hamilton. But this is definitely the first weekend of the season where you can say Max Verstappen was 100% better than Lewis Hamilton. The next race, Lewis Hamilton's home Grand Prix at Silverstone. It's quite tough to say who was the better one here. I think in qualifying, Max Verstappen did a better job because Lewis Hamilton was outqualified by Valtteri Bottas, which was quite a surprise considering how quick Lewis Hamilton normally is at Silverstone. And Max Verstappen was only about two tenths off pole position despite being in a car that we know shouldn't really be that close to pole at that track. As we know though in the Grand Prix, Lewis Hamilton corrected that and went on to win the Grand Prix quite comfortably. Now even though for Max Verstappen in the race his pace was very strong, I don't think I can say Verstappen was better. Because he took way too long I think to pass Charles Leclerc who was clearly a lot slower. I know Leclerc did very well to defend his position but Max was in a much faster car on much better tyres at that point and should have really got rid of Leclerc a lot earlier than he did and even made a mistake once he finally did pass Charles Leclerc after the first round of pit stops. After that once he passed Vettel of course he was took out and after that he did well to manage his damaged car but I think if you look at the weekend I would probably give it just about to Lewis Hamilton. At Hockenheim, though, in a similar way to Austria, Max Verstappen was definitely the stronger driver. Because I think again in qualifying, similar to Austria, Verstappen did very well to be as close to Lewis Hamilton as he was. And then in the race, of course, Lewis made two big mistakes that resulted in him finishing a P9. I know he was kind of messed about by his own team on tyre strategy, but he made the mistakes. And there is no way you can hide from that, even though he was also ill during the weekend. Max did make his mistake during the race by spinning, but just about kept it on track. But I think once he got into the lead of the Grand Prix, that's really where it became very impressive, his performance. Because once he got into the lead, he dominated the rest of the race. And it didn't look likely that anyone else was ever going to win the race once he got it. I know Hamilton was comfortable for the first 20 laps or so, but he wasn't exactly sprinting away at the front of the field like Max Verstappen did. And the drive from Verstappen at Hockenheim was brilliant. And at the final race before the summer break in Hungary, we got the first proper great battle between Lewis Hamilton and Max Verstappen. Where Max, firstly in qualifying, actually got his first ever pole position. And definitely Max did a better job in qualifying considering Hamilton at a track where normally he goes very well was somehow out-qualified by Valtteri Bottas. 
which was definitely quite a surprise. But of course, at the start of the Grand Prix, Lewis Hamilton corrected that. And then for the race win, it was Verstappen versus Hamilton. And the pace difference between the two in the first stint was very close. Then once Lewis Hamilton ran a bit longer in the first stint, he came out very quickly behind Max Verstappen and got after Verstappen very quickly. And then tried to go for the move on Max Verstappen. And what a battle this was up to turn four. Where Max just about held on. Mainly because the track was not wide enough for Lewis Hamilton to go right around the outside. And then after this Lewis Hamilton settled in behind Max Verstappen. And looked a bit comfortable sitting in second place. So what the team did was pit Lewis Hamilton again for fresh medium compound tyres. And gave Lewis Hamilton the task of catching Max Verstappen for the end of the Grand Prix to win. And eventually, of course, he did right at the end, pass Max Verstappen around the outside, and he won the Grand Prix. Now, I know Verstappen fans will be saying, well, Lewis Hamilton was on much better tyres at the end of the Grand Prix, and that's why Hamilton passed Verstappen. But Hamilton had to put the work in, firstly, to even catch Max Verstappen by the end, to even have a hope. And because of that excellent stint at the end of the Grand Prix by Lewis Hamilton on the fresh medium tyres to catch Max Verstappen, you would have to say Lewis was the better driver. Again, at this weekend, very close, but Lewis, I think, because of that race performance, just about takes it. But from the period between Canada and Hungary, who was the better driver in that period? Because we can't compare Canada and France, I'd have to say it's basically a tie. Both drivers had great performances and pulled off great overtakes for very important positions. And both drivers pulled off some magnificent race victories as well. So I'd have to again give it as a tie. In the first few races though after the summer break it's pretty clear who the better driver was. And we'll do the period from Spa until Suzuka. In Spa and Monza again pretty clear who the better driver was. It was Lewis Hamilton because Max Verstappen at the first corner on the first lap definitely could have done a lot more to not have contact with Kimi Raikkonen and cost himself what could have been later on possibly a podium finish at Spa. And then at the Italian Grand Prix, despite starting from the back, he had a crash on the first lap that really did affect his race result later on and then failed to pass Sergio Perez. Even though Perez did a great job defending against Max Verstappen, if that was Lewis Hamilton, I think Hamilton would have found a way past somehow. And Hamilton during these two races, I think, did mostly the best he could. At Spa, he was clearly not in a good enough car to win the race, but still was so close to winning by the end of the race in Spa. And in the Italian Grand Prix in qualifying, he did well. And in the race, he did well up until his late lockup. Maybe he could have done better to pass Charles Leclerc once he got the chance, but it's kind of hard to say what he could have done. But definitely Lewis Hamilton during these two races put in some excellent performances to be contending for race victory even though he was clearly not in the best car. In Singapore it's pretty hard to say who was better because it was really decided the race results for Max Verstappen and Lewis Hamilton by strategy. Because Lewis Hamilton was left out way too long compared to Max Verstappen and that's why Max Verstappen finished in third place with Lewis Hamilton in P4. But in qualifying, I think Lewis Hamilton did probably do slightly better than Verstappen. So if I was going to give it to one person for Singapore, it would probably be Hamilton. In Russia, it's very hard to say because Max had a grid penalty for the Grand Prix and his car was pretty slow in comparison. And I don't think Lewis was exactly at his best in the race, even though in qualifying he did very well to put on the front row. But again, because of the lack of pace of the Red Bull, hard to say how good Max was. And also hard to say for Suzuka because Max was took out on the first lap. So we don't know how he would have done if he actually continued in the race. And that's kind of a big what if for me during 2019. Because if Max had got past Charles Leclerc, I think Max could have ended up finishing in at least second place. And it would have been great to see how he would have done if Charles Leclerc did not take him out. But from the races just after the summer break until Suzuka, again, I think Hamilton was definitely the better driver. And then we come to the final four races, Mexico, USA, Brazil and Abu Dhabi. Now in Mexico, has to go to Lewis Hamilton. Max Verstappen, yes, was very quick during that weekend, but he blew whole position and what could have been a very good race result. 
first in qualifying by not slowing down for the yellow flags, which is quite poor of a driver to do. And then in the race was too aggressive in overtaking Valtteri Bottas and got himself a puncture. Meanwhile, Lewis Hamilton in the race managed his tyres very, very well to somehow win the race despite being on very old tyres and even having slight damage as well. But I would flip it round for the US Grand Prix because Lewis Hamilton's car, the Mercedes car during that weekend was probably the best car. Because of course Valtteri Bottas got pole and won the Grand Prix so surely it was. But in qualifying Max Verstappen ended up qualifying third and Hamilton was only fifth. And then in the race Max Verstappen was very close to Hamilton at the end as Hamilton on a one stop got second place. So I think given that weekend, I think Max Verstappen probably has to take it. And then we come to Brazil where we got the best version of Max Verstappen versus Lewis Hamilton. First in qualifying, Max got pole position for the second time in his career as Lewis Hamilton was only P3. But once Hamilton got up to second, it was again Verstappen versus Hamilton for the win. And after the first round of pit stops after Max Verstappen was held up quite poorly by Robert Kubica, Lewis had got ahead. But then Max straight away got back past Lewis Hamilton with a great move down the inside at turn one. Then once the safety car came out, Lewis Hamilton stayed on track whilst Max Verstappen came in for another pit stop. Meaning Verstappen, if he was going to win the race, had to pass Lewis Hamilton hard but fair on track. And that's exactly what he did with a fantastic move right around the outside at turn one and turn two. And after that, Max Verstappen was, of course, the race winner. And because of those overtakes and because Max Verstappen produced at the most crucial moments in that Grand Prix weekend, you would have to give Verstappen the Brazilian Grand Prix in terms of being better than Hamilton during that weekend in what was a truly epic battle between the Dutchman and the Brit. But then in Abu Dhabi, the tables were turned as Hamilton completely destroyed the rest of the field by getting pole position by a country mile and winning the race by a country mile as well. Yeah, Lewis Hamilton's car was clearly the best that weekend, but to win by almost a pit stop over Max Verstappen is a bit more than just the car. And even if Hamilton was in a car that was a lot more comparable to Verstappen, I still think Lewis Hamilton would have won the Grand Prix. So for the final four races, I would probably say it's a tie at the very least, if not just about Max Verstappen, who comes out on top as being the better driver in the final four races. So in terms of driving and having the better season, considering the pace of the respective cars, you would probably have to say Lewis Hamilton. Again, though, it's not that easy to compare because of, sadly, the pace difference between the two cars. But luckily for us, there has been races where they've been very close on track and been able to go wheel to wheel. And here is a stat comparison of Lewis Hamilton versus Max Verstappen in 2019. So Lewis Hamilton, of course, dominates the race victories and pole position column. And Hamilton, of course, also has plenty of podiums. But I will say Max Verstappen has done very well to have the amount of podiums he's had, again, considering the pace of his car. And then, of course, Lewis Hamilton won his sixth World Championship. Meanwhile, Max Verstappen finished in P3. But now we've compared their seasons and who was better at certain races. Let's now compare the two respectively when it comes to their pace in qualifying and the race. Now, for qualifying pace, it is hard to compare because of their teammates. Because Lewis Hamilton has Valtteri Bottas, who, when it comes to qualifying, is very quick. But except for that, he's not exactly amazing. And Max Verstappen during 2019 has had Pierre Gasly and Alexander Albon as teammates who have not really been competing with Verstappen at all on lap time. But Lewis Hamilton, I wouldn't say though this season has been that great when it comes to qualifying. Again, Valtteri Bottas is very quick when it comes to pace over a single lap, but Lewis Hamilton definitely I think could have done better. And even though over the course of the season Lewis did outqualify Valtteri Bottas, he could have probably outqualified him by a bit more. And what I think it is, is a combination of Valtteri Bottas in 2019 being at his absolute best, but also Lewis Hamilton not being quite there in qualifying as he usually has been in the past. And with Max Verstappen against his teammates, again, it's very hard to compare. Because it's either Gazi and Albon being too slow, Max being very, very quick, or Max being quick but also the car being clearly designed towards him, helping him. 
So again, hard to compare Max and Lewis when it comes to pace over a single lap. But because Lewis Hamilton in 2019 has not been that great in qualifying, compared to his usually great standards, of course, before 2019, I would probably have to say during 2019, Max Verstappen was the better qualifier. And I think Verstappen probably in qualifying, if he was Valtteri Bottas's teammate, would have done better. In the races though, between Lewis Hamilton and Max Verstappen on pure race pace, it is very close. But I would have to give it to Lewis Hamilton because there has been certain races after a poor qualifying or a qualifying that was not quite good enough where Hamilton has produced fantastic speed. A race like the US Grand Prix, for example, where his speed was much better than it was in qualifying and he was very good on the one-stop strategy he was on. And again, a race like Hungary, where after a qualifying that was not so great, he really had to pull out all the stops to win that race. And also races like Monaco and Mexico, he really had to manage his pace and be so consistent to win the Grand Prix. Now, Max has had his races where he's been very quick in the race, such as Austria, or races like the Spanish Grand Prix or the Brazilian Grand Prix. But I think Lewis Hamilton's race pace has just been slightly more impressive and has led to more impressive performances after qualifiers that have not been too great. But again, between these two, it's still very, very close in this area. And now finally, to decide who has been better in 2019, we'll look at their respective overtakes in 2019, and who has been the better racer, I guess you could say. Now to compare these two when it comes to overtakes, we're going to look at two great overtakes from both drivers in 2019. The first one we'll look at is Lewis Hamilton or Sebastian Vettel in Bahrain where he went right round the outside at turn 4. But this move didn't just happen at turn 4, it started all the way back at turn 1. Where Lewis Hamilton dummied to make a move on Sebastian Vettel to force Vettel to make a mistake under pressure, which he did. And then got a very good run through turn 2 and turn 3 on the DRS straight, the second DRS straight going up to turn 4. Now even though plenty of times we do see cars going around the outside of turn 4, it is still very hard to do so. Because to carry that amount of speed around the outside on a part of the track that is not really the racing line is very hard. And to just about get past without making contact despite it being very close between you and the other car is very hard as well. And what is so great about the overtake is that Lewis Hamilton just charges around the outside and acts like Sebastian Vettel isn't really there. And the confidence as well to just throw the car around the outside of this corner when racing for a very high pressurised second place is incredible. And definitely this is one of his best overtakes of 2019. But another one is his overtake on Sebastian Vettel at the US Grand Prix. Now of course Vettel did have, as we later learned, a suspension problem. But this overtake is still great for me. Because to overtake around the outside in the S's section at the Circuit of Americas has to be a special overtake. And again, you've got to admire the confidence of a driver like Lewis Hamilton to just send it around the outside and make it work very easily. And that's exactly what he did as going through to the end of the S's section, went right around the outside and made it the inside for the next corner. And disposed of Sebastian Vettel again as if he wasn't even there. But it does also show you in these two overtakes that when Lewis Hamilton has to make up a position, 90% of the time he does. And not only can he do so, but he can perform really any kind of overtake. And that's what makes Lewis Hamilton such a great racer, especially right now in this part of his career. But Max Verstappen we know is also a very hard racer and has had a lot more overtaking to do in 2019. And there's been a couple overtakes of Max Verstappen in 2019 that have been quite special. First is overtake around the outside of Charles Leclerc and Sebastian Vettel at the Spanish Grand Prix at turn 2 and turn 3 was a great move. And one in that Grand Prix he had to make considering he did have the faster car. So in a very similar way to Fernando Alonso back in 2013 when Alonso passed Hamilton and Raikkonen at this corner... Verstappen just sends it right round the outside and makes the two Ferrari drivers look like mugs. But another one which he talked about a bit earlier was his move on Lewis Hamilton. At the 2019 Brazilian Grand Prix on the first safety car restart. And again, this was just like Alex Albon behind pass on Sebastian Vettel around the outside of Turn 1 and Turn 2, a great overtake. 
and a vital part of the race to go sailing right round the outside of a six-time world champion who did defend his position in this instance very hard is a massively impressive thing to do. And I think Max here, just like he did back at the Spanish Grand Prix and also in his race in Austria, showed a quality that Lewis Hamilton already does have that I've just talked about. Making an overtake work when they really have to. And that's exactly what Max Verstappen did at the 2019 Brazilian Grand Prix. And if you look at the 2019 Formula 1 season and who has been the better racer, it's a close one. But I would probably just about go for Max Verstappen because I think his overtakes were just that bit more impressive. And I think his racing this season has been slightly more impressive. Not that Lewis Hamilton's hasn't. I just think again for Stappens has been more impressive. But now let's come to our verdict. Who has been then the better driver in 2019 and the best driver of 2019? Hamilton or Verstappen? Well based on everything we've analysed I would have to give it just about to Lewis Hamilton. Because over the course of 2019 he was just about the better driver. When it came to pace and qualifying in the race I think Lewis Hamilton was just about better. And I think his pace was more impressive for sure in the races where, of course, it matters a lot more than qualifying. And despite, in my opinion, him not being as good racing-wise this season as Max Verstappen, he has still been right there with Verstappen in that area. So I would just about give it to Lewis Hamilton. And really, when it comes to the 2019 season as a whole, it's his consistency that wins it. Because of Lewis Hamilton, he basically does the same thing, the same great things in every Grand Prix. And is a fantastic driver to rely on to go and get the results. Max Verstappen mostly has that, but is still not quite there yet. Look at Spa and Mexico as examples of that. But even though I don't think Max has been the best driver of 2019, he is very close to Lewis Hamilton right now. And as long as Max Verstappen keeps pushing and banging down that door of Lewis Hamilton and Max Verstappen gets a better car next year, who knows, maybe Max Verstappen can go for the World Championship. And maybe next season and hopefully next season we get to see Hamilton versus Verstappen a lot more. But guys, let me know in the comments section down below who has been the best driver of 2019 out of Lewis Hamilton and Max Verstappen. And also let me know why your driver that you're going for has been the best driver 2019. And also guys, do not forget to subscribe and hit the like button as well for more content like this. I'll be back on Monday with a video about Carlos Sainz and his great 2019. But guys, until that video, it's been me, Chazer HD. Goodbye.